Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace and I train Chinese martial arts, specifically Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and Qigong. And the Chinese martial arts are very traditional. They are known as the father, the forefather of all martial arts styles because the Shaolin Temple is so ancient. It was established in the 500s AD. And if you guys click on the screen right now on this video, you'll see where my man Nathan and I did three street fighting techniques from Chin Na that are great for beginners to learn to protect themselves against various situations on the street. So I wanted to show you guys three more street fighting techniques in this video that are found in the Kung Fu animal styles. They're very simple, very quick, very efficient, and they will save your life someday if needed. Now, don't forget, 99.999% of all fights that happen on the street could have been avoided but it takes walking away, it takes lowering your ego, and it takes not putting yourself in a position where you will have to fight. But if the fight comes to you and you could not get away from it, hopefully you have been training your Gong Fu and Tai Chi techniques so you have a little bit of self-defense abilities inside that brain of yours and inside that body of yours. I'm gonna also throw these techniques on my Jake Mace Tai Chi Instagram. Here's the first one. This first technique, if I'm the defender, if I'm the victim, and he's the attacker, he's the thug, the street tough, I'm gonna use a Kung Fu technique that is found quite often in our tiger style of Chinese Gong Fu, and it's called a ridge hand. The ridge hand comes in like this. I practice these techniques every day against my heavy bags, not just back fists, not just straight punches, not just hook punches, not just tiger claws, but also the tiger ridge hand, okay? So the forearm or my inner part of my hand can be used as a weapon coming from either side. It's very unorthodox and most people that have seen punches come at them don't think about it. So get in here nice and close. Watch this. Come in here nice and close. In this case my forearm is hitting him but I could also use the ridge hand part of the hand where the index finger and the thumb meet right there. So that's my weapon or this is my weapon. The key for the ridge hand is body position. So if the opponent's coming at you with a nice haymaker style strike, could be a right cross or haymaker, I'm gonna use that eagle claw to neutralize it right there. And making your hand into a claw toughens the wrist, toughens the forearm, and toughens the hand, and makes those muscles, ligaments, joints, and bones as strong as they possibly can be. Turns your arm into a weapon. The Shaolin monks were all about turning the arms into spears and the fingers into daggers. So here comes the punch. My arm spear blocks it immediately. My other hand, unorthodox style, comes in with that ridge hand across his neck. And I keep control of my eagle talon, this arm. Step in and behind, get deep, get a superior body position. And then just a little bit of a torso twist to drop him down to the ground. Nothing too crazy. We don't gotta be full on judo players. Just a little twist is all it takes if your body position is correct. Again, the attack comes in. Eagle claw neutralized. Immediately, ridge hand like tiger. Step in, get the superior position. Hip toss, take him down to the ground. And here it is in full speed one time for you guys. If I'm gonna throw a punch, I wanna throw from a good sparring position and then have a nice chambered defense that leads me into a solid punch right inside like this. When I'm shooting a gun, I wanna cock it back, boom, and then fire it. So chambering the stance or chambering the gun is very important and with kicks, we have to chamber our kicks. So the second technique for these street fighting techniques from Animal Kung Fu comes out of our bird system one of the most common kicks found in bird style kung fu is the push kick or thrusting kick. And so when the opponent is expecting a snap kick to the groin or a snap kick to the chin, they're not expecting a kick that chambers the knee first in a high position and then doesn't come up but instead goes forward and pushes him back, creating distance, separation, and also compression in the torso which can knock them out by making them lose their wind. Okay, here we go again. They're getting ready to hit you. We're going to chamber that leg up and then push kick in and create separation and blow that partner back. And Nathan will tell you, anybody who's a professional Muay Thai fighter, 
or kickbox will tell you the push kick is not to be underestimated. It is a very powerful kick found in several different styles of martial arts, including bird style kung fu. And our final third technique for this video is from snake style kung fu. The first move is a defensive move from the snake's tail. If the straight punch comes in, that right straight, right from my nose, and it's trying to get really close and trying to knock me out right in there, and it's kind of get all over me and really going to knock me out, okay, square in the nose. I want to get comfortable with this punching position, take my left hand and hook it out right here. Okay, use that snake's tail to hook it out. And when I bend my wrist like this, it locks it here and makes everything on the outside right here very tough and stronger than it normally is. Okay, so here comes the punch straight right in. I hook it out this way. Now immediately, I open my hand like it's a snake mouth that opens and I use this webbing right here where the index finger and the thumb meet. And that's gonna be the weapon that I use to just hit him right in what we call RN22. Okay, RN20 is suddenly heaven, 22 is the throat. And we're going to nail that pressure point right there. We could definitely cause knockout here because we can hit him in the neck so hard that he can still breathe, but his brain gets shaken to where he's knocked out. So very dangerous, so be careful with these techniques. Here it comes again. Snake's tail hooks out, snake's mouth strikes into the jaw, and then he immediately grabs on, and we control him with the arm and neck, kind of like the first one. But this one, instead of a hip toss, simple back sweep and let him fall. That creates distance, and I'm gone. Hey everybody, if you want more of these kind of moves in the YouTube search bar, search Jake Mace Street Fighting. You'll see a bunch of the different traditional Chinese martial art moves from Tai Chi and from Gong Fu that can be used on the street. All techniques can be used on the street, but I try to isolate some of the animal, chin na, and simple ones that can work for anybody especially beginners. So thanks for watching. Check out my online school. A whole bunch of new material was just uploaded to the jakemace.com online school for just five bucks a month. Instagram at jakemace tai chi. You can also find me on Facebook and email me at the jakemace.com email system. All the links for all the stuff's below and I'll send you a copy of my monthly training schedule so you guys can get to become a master of Kung Fu. And I always say that Kung Fu masters are those who train consistently every day have discipline, focus, and have fun at the same time. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button and subscribe. Please say thanks to Nate in the comments down below for taking the shots today, and I'll see y'all back here next time.